hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this uh, video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number two for biology paper two for the year 2020 for gce candidates this is question number two and we have a figure 2.0 below shows the internal structure of a tooth uh, here we have this uh, internal structure which has been cut uh, longitudinally and the labeled part we have F, which is the inner male. We have D, which is the nerve ending. And we have E, which is the structure here, which is the dentine. So let's look at the questions which uh, follow this structure. So the first part of the question is A, which says name the parts labeled D and D, E in figure 2.0 above. So D. We earlier said these are the nerve endings. We have the nerve endings. Then for E, we said this is the dentine. So these were the parts which we needed to label. So the next part of the question is uh, B1, and B1 says explain what happens to the part labeled F during tooth decay. So we mentioned earlier that part uh, F, this is the enamel. So the enamel will actually be attacked by bacteria uh, as it is feeding on leftover food between the teeth by producing acids. So we can write down that uh, explanation. We are saying bacteria. on food between the teeth produces acids which dissolves which dissolves the calcium salts in the enamel forming cavities so that is how tooth decay will basically occur so we are saying that when we have uh, leftover food between the teeth bacteria will actually start producing acid then that acid will dissolve the calcium salts inside the, the enamel hence forming cavities which then dig through the tooth until it reaches the pulp cavity and once that acid now exposes the nerve endings then the tooth will now start experiencing pain so that is how tooth decay occurs and that was the solution to question number B1. So the next part of the question is uh, B2. And B2 says, looking at the shape of the tooth in figure 2.0 above, suggests the role it plays in the digestion of food. So the tooth which we have here, this uh, type of tooth we have here, it has got two roots. So teeth which normally have two roots, that will normally be the premolar. So the premolar's uh, function is simply to crush and grind uh, the food. So this one is used for crushing and uh, grinding of food. So that will be the function of uh, our tooth there. So the next part of the question is question number C. So question number C, we have to complete the human dental formula below by filling in the missing numbers G, H, and J. So we have the dental formula here, and the, for the human tooth, we have 32 teeth which are present. So for G, G normally saying for us to be able to calculate the total number of teeth, 
we, g is uh, we multiply by 2 so mean that g here is actually 2 so we count the total number of teeth then multiply by 2 that's how we get 82 so that's why g here it's 2 then h here uh, we are now fitting in the number of teeth so here i is for uh, scissors canines premolars and the molars so here we're talking number of canines so canines half of the mouth we have one so lower jaw h will also have one tooth for the canines then j is for the molars so the lower jaw we have three on the upper jaw we also have three so that is now completes our dental formula so these were the solutions to question number two for gce uh, paper two biology 2020 and the total marks here was the nine marks so if we are able to answer all these questions correctly you would have gone yourself from the nine marks thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed so that you can always be notified each time i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in the next video